there's a big argument amongst academic classicists about the fables themselves. Who would they fall? Were they the sort of stories that slaves told each other, just oral stories which just got written down by accident? Or were they used actually for the education of the upper classes? Were they the sort of things that little boys who were going to be kings of Macedon? And the argument there goes down to what is actually the material of them. Most of them are simply about knowing your place and force majeure, OK? It's about knowing that little animals don't get to be powerful in the jungle. Big lions do. I'm going to try and unpick the ideology underlying those slave stories in an attempt to get back to their original genesis amongst the slave community of ancient Greece. Mm -hmm.